hello everyone thank you for stopping by we're making white okra soup today now if you're team slimy okra this is the best recipe you find on the internet if you're not well have a sip and watch us have some fun promise me you'll never ever make boring white okra soup again this is the only way you need to be making it going forward now trust me this is going to be delicious this is literally the best now sit with me let me show you how in just a few minutes yay so here i have half a kilogram of okra and i have some crayfish i have um, locust beans scotch bonnet pepper and nut cubes and then i have some roasted garlic some red pepper flakes some what's that again stockfish salt and onion and I'm going to soak the so stockfish in water for uh, well for as long as it takes to chop the okra chop the pepper and do everything else I'm just gonna soak that it's in hot water just to you know loosen it up a bit uh, and quickly and so now I'm just going to put a cup of water in this bowl cup of really cold water if you have that or just get water from the tap then I'm going to wash my okra like that just leave it soaked in the water and then I'm going to chop it up in you know those uh, sizes or in that size whatever and there's so many ways you can chop your okra guys you can grate them you can you know just blend them up however but I like it in chunks like this sometimes Sometimes I just chop with my hand like that if I don't want to use a chopping board. That's another way that you can chop your okra, right? So you can chop with your hands. You don't really need a chopping board. Another way is to just, you know, cut uh, cut into the okra in like four places like that. And then you have smaller bits and pieces. But I mean, whatever suits your needs at any particular time, do you, my folks, do you right so just chop the okra up now i'm going to put it inside that bowl of water uh this is how i get in a lot of slime without having to use potash but yeah you could try using potash if you want but sometimes i really just don't want that in my food so i just do this i just mash it and mash it in the water and get out some of the slime right just mash it like that and i'm going to leave it in this water until every other thing is ready so you just get slimier like that that's my secret to making very slimy white okra it's pretty simple smash it with your hands and keep it aside how slimy that is and it looks so green and beautiful and here I've just chopped my onions and my scotch bonnet peppers just one piece like you saw and here is the stockfish that I've been soaking all this while it's really soft now it's not the most uh, tough one so that was all that I needed to do just soak it for a while now I have my pot here I'm going to put two cups of water and I'm going to throw in the stockfish and just let it cook until it almost dries out however long that takes I wasn't checking for the timing but just until it dries out and now I'm going to put my two stock cubes and some salt that's about half a teaspoon I didn't you know heap it but yeah you saw what that looked like but that's half a teaspoon no half a tablespoon sorry guys half a tablespoon right and I'm just going to cover that and like I said till it dries up and in this pan I'm going to saute my onions this helps me you know get some flavor into the onions before they get into the okra obviously I'm using avocado oil you just saw that and I'm going to just let that heat up in uh, on medium heat right and then I'm going to throw in the onions and the scotch bonnet pepper just leave one minute intervals at this stage for everything fry for one minute then add the next thing fry for one minute add the next thing like that that's all I'm doing here so I'm adding the pepper flakes and the roasted garlic and I'm gonna fry that again for about a minute one minute interval guys 
it has been frying for a minute and now I'm going to add just about two pinches of salt don't do more than that guys you already had about half a tablespoon in the stock fish and now I'm going to put in some low-cost beans or iru. I hope I got that correctly <laughs> right I'm just gonna throw that in there that's about all that I used and again one minute intervals just fry the onions trust me this is going to add a lot of flavor to your white okra right just fried properly I've added a little bit more oil just to get some moisture in there because it was you know getting too dry but just this is going to give your soup a whole load of flavor trust me take this step every time you're making white okra right and like I said stockfish almost dried out didn't check the time I'm sorry but yeah just let the water dry out like that and then you can add your okra and just stir um, all of this process of like adding the okra stirring it um, adding the onions adding a bit more water all of that took about two minutes so after that I just let the okra sit for an additional three minutes so as you can see I've added like about half a cup of water nothing more but if I could have done without adding the water though but I just wanted it you know a bit more loose right but if you want it thicker than this just do not add the half cup of water then I've added the crayfish like I said this entire process took about two minutes two to three minutes and so after that I just let it sit for three more minutes hey if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do so now thank you <laughs> thank you so yeah just check for taste uh, you don't want it too tasty because this is going to go along with some stew but yeah just check that it's as sweet as you want it to be as you can see I have put the sauteed onions and like I said I'm just going to let that sit for three minutes nothing more nothing less the other thing you can do is just let it boil stay with it and then just pinch the okra a bit if it's soft enough to like just pinch like that then you can drop it you don't want to overcook the okra right so just three minutes and it's off the fire and this next step is because I usually just see my mom do it they just sprinkle some really cold water on top just two sprinkles and that's about it you have your amazing white okra and you can use it to you know to eat anything poundo or whatever but I'm eating mine with amala obviously because <laughs> when I have this kind of craving for okra it's usually amala that's on my mind right and if you want me to do a video of how I make my amala really smooth just let me know in the comment below and I will try to do a video soon and as you can see just top this off with your stew and you are good to go your stomach will be very happy with you you will be very happy with me for you dropping this video just you know if you're ever afraid of making okra and wondering if it's gonna be slimy or not you again if you're team slimy this video is the perfect one for you it's a cook along so don't worry about the time just patiently go through this video and make yourself a nice pot of okra soup right and obviously like you saw in the beginning I just put it in the Tupperware and stir that in the fridge and you can use that for multiple you know servings or you can use that multiple times so I hope you tried this okra and I hope you like it if you do come back give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys here again next week thank you again for being part of my amazing channel uh, make sure you share with your friends make sure you tell everybody to subscribe and I'll see you again next week thank you bye